Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's the kid YJ and this bit, man. Today we have a very special video, a video that is very anticipated. Now, a lot of people, I've been seeing a lot of people are looking for this topic right here. A lot of y'all, some youngins, you know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all want to get put on the game. A lot of y'all want to learn and just know I was in your position before. You feel me? So with that being said, today I'm gonna teach y'all boys, give y'all some tips and tricks on how to get y'all drip up, man. How to get drip, you feel me? And with that being said, let's get to it. Let go. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and let's get into it. Number one, you have to have confidence. I be telling y'all boys over and over, you cannot drip. You can't drip without confidence. Confidence gives you the ability to put on whatever confidence gives you the ability to walk outside in pajama pants and make it look good you feel me confidence gives you that swagger that walk that damn he got it on you feel me that's all confidence i'm telling y'all boys get your confidence up and when you have that bit you'll be able to put on anything like how what i'm rocking right now i'm rocking cargos gray hoodie and a white tee you feel me this is basic you feel me i done thrifted the pants t from costco walmart jacket you know what i'm saying you don't need a thousand dollar outfit on this outfit nothing but 40 bucks but i'm putting it on you know what i'm saying i'll walk around i put on my confidence i'll walk around stand up tall chest out head up you feel me so when you see me in public you're like damn that's a simple fit but he got it on you know what i'm saying number one confidence on the list you need that and when you do you'll be able to put on anything i'm telling y'all but a lot of people be saying confidence and they be saying how the hell do i get confidence i understand so how to get confidence bro i'm telling you this works 100 percent of the time go in the mirror put your fit on go to the mirror look at yourself and you really gotta tell yourself you i put that stuff on today you feel what i'm saying put it in your head look at yourself in the mirror like for five minutes and just tell yourself stuff tell yourself stuff you feel me tell yourself you look good tell yourself you're gonna kill the day tell yourself you just got that swagger on and you keep doing that day after day i promise your confidence is gonna go up and since you told yourself that nobody's gonna be able to tell you nothing i promise number two we have be minimal you know what i'm saying a lot of people gonna tell y'all get this get that put it on this way do that don't listen to none of that you feel me no this is why real simple a lot of times when people say do this this and that as beginners and things we overdo it you know what i'm saying that's just how anything is when you first learn how to drive a car you overdo it and you press the gas button too hard you feel me or you hit the brakes too hard when you first learn how to shoot you know what i'm saying a basketball people be shooting hit top of the backboard they put too much power in when you first try something usually you tend to overdo it so i always recommend to keep it simple stick with your white and black tees you know what i'm saying stick with some regular black denim focus more on the feet you feel me match a little bit and we'll get to that you feel me don't overdo stuff don't be running around with graphic shorts a graphic tee some fuzzy socks loud ass shoes and a busy ass hat don't be going overboard you know what i'm saying because it gets to a level where it's not even cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you have stuff on, but it looks like you just throw stuff on, you know what I'm saying? And that goes especially with brands. I didn't put that on the list, but when it comes to brands, you don't want to wear multiple visible brands because it just looks weird, you know what I'm saying? You're wearing Yeezy shoes, Nike socks, you know what I'm saying? Bape shorts, Supreme t-shirt, LV jacket, like it looks retarded. You're doing way too much. That's not drip, that's just corny, you feel me? So number two on the list, keep it simple, keep it calm. You can put stuff on for real, but keep it calm. Keep it relaxed. Chill out, bro. At the end of the day, it's just an outfit. You feel me? So relax. Number three, and we spoke on it in the last one. We're going to talk about matching. You know what I'm saying? This is how I learned how to dress at first. You feel me? Learn to match. Now, you can learn to match colors. You can, And then when you learn how to match colors, after a while, you can learn how to match tones. You feel me? Like today, I have a real calm tone fit. You see the cargos, you see the hoodie. They're both not bright colors, they're calm. You know what I'm saying? So you can match it that way. The one you start out, I always recommend just start off with colors. You feel me? I match colors subtly. I don't like putting on a red shoe and then a red t-shirt, you know what I'm saying? But I like wearing a black shoe that has red on it and then a black shirt that has red on it. 
you get what I'm saying? And then a black hoodie. So it matches, but it matches subtly. You get what I'm saying? If I wear a green shoe, I may wear a white shirt and then a green and white hat. You get what I'm saying? So it's not, it's not so much matchy matchy, but it's subtle. You know what I'm saying? So when you look at it, it's like that, he put it on. You get what I'm saying? And if you don't understand, look at my Instagram. You'll be able to understand how I match tones. You feel me? On my Instagram, I managed to put on a purple and green outfit. Now, you may think Barney. You may think of a crazy fit. You know what I'm saying? But I somehow made it work by matching the tones. Because the colors may be different, but the tones of colors were the same. If you don't understand, look at my Instagram and how I made that work. And every other fit, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? Just matching subtly though. You don't want to look like a clown matching base colors together. You feel me? You don't want to wear purple shoes, a purple hoodie, a purple t-shirt, and a purple hat. Yeah, it's cool, but it's childish. You feel me? You want to do subtly. I'm telling you, it works way better. You can get way more compliments. I'm telling you right now. Next up, number four, we have accessorize. Now, accessories are very key. As you can see, I'm rocking a little two-tone, little gold chain, you know what I'm saying? Little two of them, slight. Accessorize minimally. A lot of people say accessorize, and like, again, people go overboard. So accessorize minimally. If you want to wear a chain, even this can be overboard on some outfits. You know what I'm saying? I just threw it on because I had a white tee. If I was wearing like a graphic t-shirt, I wouldn't really want to accessorize this much because this is in your face, you feel me? So you have to play around with it. If you're wearing if you're wearing a busy shirt i don't like wearing watches and bracelets and all that because it's already busy you know what i'm saying you don't want to do too much so simple accessories like a little bracelet little chain a plain watch you know what i'm saying nothing too crazy a lot of y'all boys already got the earrings so you got earrings like you're good simple stuff plain stuff nobody's telling you go spend 20k on jewelry none of that you know what i'm saying simple stuff stands out a lot i'm telling y'all boys simple is better especially nowadays maybe 2016 back to clothing maybe like 2016 wearing all that crazy stuff was cool but nowadays it's just way more calm when we're simple you feel me calm and simple is the key number five on the list we gotta talk about dressing from the bottom up you know what i'm saying a lot of y'all boys and i had the same problem you feel me what i used to do is I used to think, damn, I don't got a lot of shoes. You feel me? Cause back when I was in 10th grade, I ain't had shoes for real. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, damn, I don't got a lot of shoes. How the hell I'm gonna dress up a fit? Y'all gotta think differently. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't think like that. Think I got this shoe, right? Let's say you just got two, everybody got shoes. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you just got two shoes, a black shoe and a white shoe. You know what I'm saying? That's really all you need. Boom, you have two shoes when you go to the mall, dress shoes up you feel me dress okay i got these shoes in mind okay this piece will work with that shoe okay so this shirt that works with my shoes that i got i can put it with these pants you know i'm saying dress up think about shoes first one because when you're when you have outfits people look at the shoes first and two you'll be able to have a lot of fits with multiple shoes if that makes sense i got into a binge of buying clothes that i don't even have shoes to match with and when you think that way when you dress top to bottom that's when you think you need a lot of shoes when you dress bottom up and you start with your shoes then you'll realize you don't really need a lot of shoes to make fits i really hope that makes sense because that was one of the biggest things i learned because i spent a lot of money on clothes that i didn't have shoes for you get what i'm saying but when i started dressing down up I ended up having a lot of fits. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I really hope that makes sense. It's hard to explain, but I really hope that makes sense. Next up, number six, try new things. You know what I'm saying? Try new things. I know for me personally, it was really hard. If you know me in person, I wear black almost all the time. Summertime, I wear a black graphic tee every damn day. And if it's not black, I'm wearing a white basic tee. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's hard for me to branch out, but you know what I'm saying? I try new things. Wear a bomber jacket. You feel me? Wear, wear a varsity jacket. Wear some different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Navigate. You feel me? If you wear nothing but black, try wearing a few color stuff. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying. You know what I'm saying? Go on my Instagram and down here or down here or whatever one. You'll see. I I try to venture out. You feel me? If you're someone that likes subtle stuff, you know, dress, dress loud for once. You know what I'm saying? 
if you like loud pieces, dress minimal. You know what I'm saying? Try different stuff. You're going to see a lot of stuff that you didn't know. You're going to see a lot of stuff that you like that you didn't know you liked. And the only way you're going to know that is by trying something new. So I'm telling y'all boys, try something new and you're going to see. Crazy.